Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today I'm doing a little experimenting with the first wad of 133. I believe this to be a drawing stroke. Uh, swords typically spent a lot of time inside the scabbard, so it would make sense to practice, you know, drawing out of the scabbard and engaging directly from there. So the belt would, uh, the, sorry, the buckler would be held someplace or attached someplace at the belt area, um, you know, either to the belt or the uh, perhaps the scabbard. Uh, there's a lot of different ways you can you can attach the buckler. Uh, so somehow I need to, you know, basically I need to free my, my buckler. Um, and with this particular type of a scabbard, I need to hold the scabbard. So I'm going to draw, come into measure, and basically continue my fight from here. Okay, so to me this makes a lot of sense. Um, you know, and I'm not saying with absolute certainty that this is what the first wad portrays, but it, it simply fits the bill. Okay, uh, let's try it again. So I have my, my buckler. I'm going to uh, loosen it, you know, take it off my, my belt, come out, and come into measure. Okay. Um, in the, you know, in the first ward, when we look at 133 and they're, they're holding like this, you know, what I believe that they're doing is they're training, they're drilling, um, so they, they don't have a scabbard there. So they're basically practicing the drawing stroke administratively. Okay, that's that's what I think is happening uh, when we look at that first ward. Okay, they're simulating having a scabbard, and I don't know this with absolute certainty. Um, but I mean, any way you look at it, you know, if uh, I mean, if if your sword is in your scabbard, there's a good chance that you will be making your first uh, cut right out of the scabbard. So, um, you know, e I mean, either way, that I mean, that's where you're gonna get. Okay. Um, whether you, you know, even if you're somebody that, that believes that this is a, uh, a ward in and of itself, that's, that's, that's good to stand in and that's fine. I'm not going to, um, you know, dispute that because I don't know. Um, you know, so even if you believe that this is a good ward to just to stand in and fight from, th you know, you have to acknowledge that um, if the sword is in the scabbard um, and basically you need to deploy it, I mean, you're going to be coming out of your scabbard uh, and engaging from there. So um, I don't think it's a bad interpretation. I, I don't think it's a, I don't think it's an interpretation that can be, um, you know, disputed as, as nonsense because people, you know, this is where people carry their swords. Um, so but anyway, um, I'm open to different ideas. Um, if you guys have any comments to make, please make them. If you have uh, um, if you guys, you know, it'd be great if you guys made some of your own videos. I'm sure you guys have your own scabbards with different types of setups. You might have one that sits diagonally. Um, you know, you may have a different way, you know, you may have a way of attaching the buckler that, that you like. Uh, so I encourage you guys to do some experimentation, post some videos. Uh, you can link your videos into my comment section. I would love to see those. Um, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not a member of my channel, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.